Hi, I'm Lauren Parker and we're talking about etching copper circuit boards and copper artwork today. Um, here is our, here's our cuprous chloride uh, solution. What I did to make this batch is I just mixed up one half of the 33% muriatic acid, one part of that, to one part of hydrogen peroxide 3% solution. And those are the common forms that you find it in. Most of the time you're going to find muriatic acid about 30%, 33%, and hydrogen peroxide from the drugstore is going to be a 3% solution in most cases. In that case, you mix it one part to one part, it's half and half. And after I've added some copper, it turns green like this. You can keep on using the solution over and over and over again, um, just recharging it every once in a while with just a little bit more of the ingredients, but it'll, it'll keep on etching for years to come. First though, don't be surprised, it won't turn green immediately until you've etched a couple circuit boards in there. The trick to this stuff is that if I etch, if I drop this piece of copper in there right now, it would conceivably dissolve all the copper that's exposed. So any of these smudge marks, anything like that, the, that copper would not be exposed and they would be left. Likewise, it won't eat anything that's been sharpied. So I can draw on here. I'll just make that and I'll plug my website. www.electricwestern.com And now this is not going to be eaten through. So if I dropped it in at this point, all of this copper would be dissolved except where I put www.electricwestern.com. In addition to Sharpie, we can also print things out on transfer sheets. This is a product called Press and Peel Blue. And you print it out on a laser jet printer. And the laser toner actually will transfer off of this sheet if you heat it with an iron onto the copper. It transfers the image, and in this case, a circuit board image transfers the image onto the copper and then I drop it into the bath and anywhere where this image is transferred, where the toner has stuck via the iron transfer, then we are going to have copper anywhere where there is a space, we are going to have the fiberglass that lies underneath this copper. All that copper is going to be eaten up. So the ink we put on top to protect the copper and prevent it from being eaten is called the resist.